What's up guys? Quick video here. Spent the last couple days replacing a circulation pump. That was a bastard. Bastard because was a big old hefty old boat anchor. Just like that one that was over here. So I <laughs> got that sucker out of here by myself a couple months ago and it took them a while to find one that was a close enough match to put in its place. So um, welding on a piece of steel to slap under that one under its base and then uh, using some uh, flange spacers there was able to uh, actually get it to bolt up so we're going to be doing the startup once the, my coworker arrives with the uh, connections we need to hook up the pressure gauges and whatnot now someone want to show you this is this place you know was pretty run down before we started maintaining it does have some newer coolers but uh, somebody like repiped this at some point and did with, with PVC. Not that new fancy plastic pipe that's made for industrial, but it looks like it's just standard PVC. It's just large, you know. Got a six inch here. I think that's eight inch right there. <laughs> Five inch discharge. It's, and I believe there's a couple leaks like right here, I thought maybe it was from the rain or from the water yesterday, but I think it's leaking. This flange has us nervous. Got cracks everywhere. Hopefully it's not, hopefully it's just superficial, but so far it's not leaking. It's the way it was on the other pump. So it's just under closed loop um, pressure, which would be whatever the makeup side is, maybe 30 PSI, and it hasn't leaked since yesterday, so it should be pretty good when we fire up the pent fire up the pump you'll get that differential pressure there to the discharge pressure will go up so that old conduit's still used it kind of uglies up our installation there but you know we're doing what we can do with this mess they're in the process of getting some repairs approved other than that pump this uh when summer sort of ended, which doesn't happen very often here in Phoenix, <laughs> the water supply overcooled because uh, one of the tower pumps, spray pumps, this one would not stop. Well, found out why. Again, before we started servicing it, the starter took a shite. So they took the pump wires off of the bottom of the overload underneath the starter and just hooked it right up there to that fused outputs there that did go to the uh, starter contactor. So anytime that this disconnect is in the on position, that pump runs non-stop. It doesn't. So it wasn't able to switch off once uh, it satisfied temperature. And then it, this has been reworked a few times from its old controls. There's a really old panel over there. Some VFDs have been added. This one fried and seized. The motor was uh, wires and this pretty new tower. They were f shitty connectors and they, the, the, well, here it is. It fried. I think I showed a photo of that. So this thing needs work. So we're getting gonna get that approved. I'm gonna rework some of this. Only one of the four mushroom fans works. All these other three are dead. This one tries to turn every once in a while. <laughs> so I gotta put in those, put in the new uh what this is overload and these two contactors is basically they turn the starter switch into a uh um bypass or VFD it's not even labeled but that's what that is that switch switches these so either VFD or bypass so right now I just have that tower uh, blower the fan or whatever right into the VFD they added this Honeywell thing which is seeing better days it says button broke remove cover to push so they, I guess they eventually just left the cover off it's got three digital outputs just dry contacts which they're switching like three of these I guess I gotta figure out what they've been doing it doesn't seem to stage in any logical manner and then this actually has an analog output it says 0 to 18 volts but it always seems to stay right about two and a half volts so this ain't configured for the input properly because eventually it just gets warm enough to do the dry contact which enables the VFD and the fan just ramps up to 100% and at this time of year, being January, it just it cools down within about two minutes and shuts off. So it's short cycles like crazy in the afternoon. So this is 
you know, the Arizona desert where in the morning the boiler runs <laughs> and then by the afternoon you're staging on pumps and tower fans. Yeah. So, so I'm going to get a chance to kind of rewire some of this stuff here. Probably taking a couple days to do all this, putting in the new controls, new starters, uh, and figure out all that stuff. So I'm just, again, waiting for my coworker to get back with a couple fittings, and we're going to do the startup on this pump. There she blows. Check valve's a little noisy, ain't it? 45 PSI, discharge. 15 PSI, suction. Sweet. Another job well done. 